Welcome everybody to Don't Starve Adventures. In this season, we are going to be starting in autumn. Uh, typically, it actually be on autumn or spring. Uh, I don't want to start in spring because that would basically mean the end of the game would happen within like three episodes the second we get into uh, into summer. So let's not do that. Let's try to actually make this one last for just, you know, a while, at least longer than last season. This season that uh, some of you guys may never actually see. We want to accept these changes. Uh, we have Wigfred here. I'll explain while we're in the loading screen here. Okay. Yes, Capital Shipwreck. Sure, just in case. Either way, we're, we're never going to use it, but just in case. So listen. This is actually a do-over of almost an entire season that I did with Wigfred. So this is my second time using using her. Uh, I do. I did, however, mess up one core mechanic with her. Uh, I watched a couple of videos on how she functions, and they said in the videos that she uh, she gains health when attacking. Uh, and I took that as one strike and she gains health. In fact, she gains health when you kill something, not when you attack it. So the entire time I was under the impression I was getting just little bits of health here and there went by attacking things and that wasn't the case. But don't worry, that's not the part, that's not the reason why things went to hell. Things went to hell for other reasons I'm not going to disclose. But here's, here's what I'm going to do with that particular season. And I'm breaking all this down for you guys now because I'm probably going to reference it a couple times as we play this uh, this particular uh, run. Uh, but oh, really, right off the bat, already one of these. Um, so, jeez. Oh, it's just, it's typically what happens is when I do some recording, and these are, th these are behind the scenes things that a lot of uh, content creators do. Um, when something goes catastrophically wrong, you end up uh, just ditching the footage. You just just drop the footage entirely, and you're done, right? Now, about a week ago, I decided yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just re-record. I'm gonna record a bunch of episodes ahead of time, like a lot. I was gonna do like ten episodes ahead of time, uh, and I'm really glad that I did that because otherwise this would have been just even worse. Um, it's okay. I'm gonna record a bunch of episodes ahead of time, and then and then you know go from there. Uh, and that way it gives me some cushion. That way I can get episodes out to you guys more regularly, right? Because we all like that. I like that. Um, well. I'm glad I did because I got to a certain episode, which is not that far in, not as far as the previous seasons, and I ended up um, encountering something I've never encountered before, and because of the circumstance of the encounter, I ended up basically failing the entire game. I just basically, yeah, it was, and it was just, it was just, it just, it just killed me inside. Uh, and so typically what I do is I delete the footage, but I decided, you know what, uh, there are people who are on Patreon who do, uh, support, you know, monetarily, right? And I know some of you guys do, like, on Twitch and whatnot, but Patreon is specifically for YouTube content, so what I decided I'm gonna do is actually release that entire season, albeit not a long one, uh, on, uh, on Patreon as an exclusive, and this is gonna be my do-over. I feel better about that. I understand that not everybody's going to agree with that, and I'm I'm sorry, uh, but I am sitting here and recording this new season for those of you guys who are not on, uh, who are not a patron. Uh, I gotta be careful how I word that. I'll be like, who don't support me? No, of course you guys support me. You guys are here fucking watch the videos. Of course, I appreciate that. I really, really do. But I also gotta add a little bit of benefit, uh, a little bit of uh, added value for those who. Uh, uh, who are on Patreon. So I figured that's probably the best way to do it. Because otherwise, I would literally just throw the whole thing away. It's a good run. I'm not gonna... I mean, it's, it's a great run. But it is... Um, but the way it ends is just... It doesn't sit well with me. Uh, not, not for public consumption. So, that's the story. That's where we're at. That's what's happening. Now, the good news is... For those of you guys who are not going to watch that season... Um... I am much better with Wigfred now than I was when I first started. Not that she's terribly difficult to 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 manage, uh, but yeah, she's she is a very interesting character. That's a lot of fun, and also kind of it kind of pushes you in a direction that uh, is very risky. You see, she does twenty five percent more melee damage uh, and and range damage as well um, than the average you know uh, the average character. And she also takes 25% less damage. She has the ability to, right off the bat, craft uh, a battle spear and a battle helm. You just need the resources for those things. 
the battle helm takes uh, reduces or mitigates damage equal to the amount that uh, the football helmet would do. The uh, exception is that it lasts twice as long. So that is uh, fantastic. That's a fantastic boost. Um, she can only eat meat, but you can get you can get tricky and like you know, throw a bunch of things into the crock pot and um, and and basically squeeze in a couple of veggies here and there. Kind of like when you have a kid, right? And you want to like sneak them some vegetables, so you gotta hide it in some sweet shit or something. Basically the same exact thing. Um, yes, I've done that with tech. Of course, I have. Everyone, every every parent's done that. Uh, so. She can eat meat under certain circumstances, but in general, no, she can't. Uh, or sorry, I'm sorry, uh, vegetable, non-meat products. How's that? Non-meat products. Uh, she cannot eat a mandrake. I tried to cook a mandrake, mandrake soup. She, I could not eat it or, yeah, well, drink it, eat it, whatever. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, it's just, uh, she's a very interesting character. Because of her ability to fight so ferociously, it makes it really, 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 really hard not to just put it on, uh, not, not to just face tank everything. Uh, and I'm not going to say whether or not that was my demise in the last season. Uh, but what I will say is it was almost my demise several times before the end of the season. How's that? Huh? That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, I really like her. <laughs> I really like her attitude. She's just like, just like she's just like, oh, I'm hungry. Like just the way that she announces that she's hungry, right? Not just not just kind of like, I would like a bite to eat or whatever, you know. Just like just her attitude. She is very, she is a performer. Uh, she is a, she's a Valkyrie, right? Uh, but she's supposed to be a, essentially a performer of sorts. Um, and yeah, she just she's just like she's willing just to go just to go ham on whatever you want to throw at her. And I like that. I like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's that mushroom circle. I ran into this. Uh, God, I don't even know if it was in a D Dose Our Adventures episode or not, but I have run into it before. Unfortunately, there, there's like one product that shows oh, a blue mushroom too. Damn, that's actually a good one. Um, I don't believe that she can eat them. I know she can't eat them straight up, but I don't think there's really anything I could put, uh, in a crazy crock pot. I can make like meatballs or something like that, but I'll probably just end up just leaving them there to be honest. It's about to be nighttime here. It's basically just collecting resources. Like I said, I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot in these past couple of uh, 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 seasons of DSA. And I don't want to make the same mistake try twice here. So we got to do a lot of basically just... And the curtain falls. Uh, just prep. Lots of prep. Can I actually make a... Yeah, I can. Where even am I? Wow, I've explored, I feel like, quite a bit of chunk of land. I've not found anything, um, I don't want to say useful, but yeah, useful. There's a gang of boulders right here. Guess where we're coming? Second the sun comes up. Gold nugget, good. Graveyard, no problem. She's got the, uh, I believe she's got, like, uh, there's, like, a buff or something like that. That's not, doesn't show up anywhere that you get to, uh, basically sanity is not quite impacted for the first couple days or something. It's kind of like, uh, actually the same thing exists in, uh, in Oxygen Not Included. Same exact thing exists in Oxygen Not Included. Oh, it's a freaking... <gasps> frog legs. She can eat frog legs and fish. Well, these guys are just... What the heck is a freaking kegger out here? Chip, Oinky, Pertinax. Oh my god, that kind of pig king already? Rocks. Okay. We're gonna run out here in a second. I don't wanna make a fire pit or anything, so as well do. This is a big enough tree. I like that. And I like this one just back up. Oh, whoops. Well, let's hope that lasts long enough. Do 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 I guess I'll go ahead and get to work. Perfect. Look at that timing. Here's my dudes. He said, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. No, I'm good, dude. You'll be fine. You'll live. I, I did say we were going to go back to that place and chop up those rocks, but now I'm, I'm, in, I'm in exploration mode. And I need to be again. I did. Mistakes were made. 
and and learned from and survived. And I need to do that again. With more efficiency. Let's gotta do it a little bit more better. <laughs> Why are these pigs here? Where is their home? That is an unusually large tree. Where is their home? And where are the mermen that they'd beaten up in order to drop all that food? That is strange. That is a very strange thing. There is nothing over here. Let me go up here and finish, I guess, around here. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. What we'll do is we'll cook up uh, these frog legs and the fish and we'll eat those because those are not going to get me as much as uh, as eating just straight up uh, meat, cooked meat. There's ice there. I'm going to get all these gold nuggets. This is basically just free gear pretty much for me. Also, we start building my science machines. Good, good, good. Nice, lots of gold here. Yep. Hello. Oh, I just sent him eggs, so whatever. She's not quite as aggressive. Um. Don't tell me. Don't even. Don't even. I hate you. It's because I picked something up in front of her. No, 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 it's not. It's just because. Oh, Jesus. There's tons of them. Well. Uh. At least I know where to go to get some meat. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you're mad too. You're so mad. There are the trees I planted. Wow, I was right next to these guys, huh? And here's that gang of rocks I said I was gonna come and beat up. And I'm here, so guess what? We're going. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Let's go for this on. Let's go and beat them up. Good, 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 good. I don't want to set up shop anywhere yet because I I really 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 want to make sure that I choose care very carefully where uh where I decide to set up my base of operations. I really 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 need to be careful where I set up my base of operations. <laughs> no more no more let's stick ourselves into a corner somewhere so that we're half protected by stuff. No. No. If we if we get attacked, we're we're going we got to go head on. We can't we're we ain't no bitch. We, we gotta actually stand up for ourselves and do something about it. All right? Please tell me the last one gets it. Yes. Perfect. I ain't come to suck. All right, let me see. Uh, upper left is not quite fully explored. Uh, this part of the peninsula is. That road goes somewhere, but I'm gonna go up and over just to make sure that is the end of this part here. Uh, she is getting super hungry. I'm gonna have to cook up these uh, fish and whatnot. Oh, this is just taking up space. I can't eat that. Alright, bunnies. Alright, so this area is not yet explored. I did stop right here with the blue mushrooms. Well, let's go ahead and just pick a side and stick to it. I guess this is gonna be the side. There should be a split right here. Here it is. Oh, that's not the split I was thinking of, but okay. Cannot get into a fight right now. Cannot afford to get into a fight right now because I need to make a fire now that it's raining, of course. Of course it's raining. Okay, I believe she stopped chasing me. So one of the key things uh, that we need to focus on initially is finding ourselves a year. And I mean that singular, like we just need to find a freaking year because not having a fridge is basically just like, that's the, that's the death of you for summer. You're just done. Just don't even bother trying to make it through summer. You don't have a fridge, just so you're screwed. Let's go and make another one. Yep. So, yeah, we're gonna make. Uh, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me cook this stuff real quick while I'm here. Before the fire goes out. So, yeah, we're gonna. We gotta find ourselves some. I might as well drop this, too. Some gears. That is just high priority. Seriously, super high priority. It's gotta happen. Oh, nice. Stop raining. Perfect. Of course, after we, we collect some basic resources. Don't get me wrong. We gotta do, we gotta, we gotta do a lot of things. <laughs> we have a lot of work to do. 
Every time you start off, don't start. It's like, oh, it's chill. It's great. You get to wander around and kind of explore a little bit. It's so much fun. Everything. No, bitch. You got to, you got, you have to get, you have to prepare. You have to prepare. There is no hanging around, dilly dallying around. <laughs> you just can't. You got to, you got to get to work, man. You got to do your job. Chop some more of these trees. Maybe awake, awaken a, uh, a big pissed off tree. Okay. In that case, I should say I'm chopping down a bunch of trees. And usually, I feel like early on in the freaking season, I always end up running into one of these dicks. Um, I'm going to beat this up even though I know it's going to go into the water. But yeah, I'm going to keep a bunch of uh, pine cones on me for just a minute. Just a minute. That way, if I do spawn one, I can just plant a whole bunch of pine cones. Good, we get this. We are running out of time. We could do this and then set up a fire. Or we could get a, uh, oh no, actually that's gonna be a problem. Hold on, let's drop this real quick. Because that's gonna require a bag space that I didn't have for a moment there. And the curtain fall. Might have to make another one, we'll see. I don't have room in my bags for another one. It looks like we're planting trees. Plant on the green. There we go. I could try to make it last through the night again, like I did last time. I guess I could try to do that. I could buy myself time right in the middle, actually. How close is this to something? Uh, those will all light on fire. That will light on fire. Gotta be one that's not. There you go, right up here. This guy right... There, we'll go and light that on fire, and then we'll put this on. That'll buy me a little bit of time here. I'm gonna fix my headset. <laughs> and then, we will... The light button does not work, by the way. Oops, that's all I want to do. Pick it up. Okay. We have the charcoal now. Charcoal is actually more more useful than nitrate right away, so let's do that. Not that we necessarily need any right this second. Actually, let's go and light this one too. This is perfect. Good way of running around and getting some charcoal early on. Gonna eat this. Speaking of, I'm hungry IRL, so hmm. Perfect. Um, you know what, since we are going, we are using that, that as, uh, hmm. Let's go put this back on. Let's light all these. Okay, save. Make sure he gets all these guys. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna take up spots, or, you know, uh, uh, inventory slots, then I might as well get me a few. Oh, wow. It's instantly. Okay, cool. Cool. There you go. Oh, gosh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> let's have some more, though. Let's go and find some more of these guys and, uh... I mean, talk about spawning a tree in, like, super early on. This doesn't do it, who knows. Alright, that's all gonna catch fire. This torch is gonna run out, and... Oh, did I get it? I think I got it. My light is quenched. Oh, this is good. One stroke. Boom. Perfect. We still got one bag space. One bag slot. We're good on, well, we could get a little bit more weight just to finish off that stack. But... Yeah, we should. <laughs> and we should probably pre-make a, uh... Yeah, we should pre-make ourselves... A fireplace, or a fire... Campfire. I'm not worried about ashes right now. Those will come in handy another time. Rocks, 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 rocks! Yeah, we got all these. Oh, we got some free meat out of the deal. Hell yeah! A morsel. Ready to go. Let me get that. Take it. Sandy's a little beat up. That's fine. We'll just go find a butterfly or something to slap around. Or those tall birds, actually. But again, we need to focus on getting the gears. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I promise you. I promise you. We don't get gears. We will die. 
We need gears. <laughs> it's just it is life changing. These things <laughs> have to have to have to. All right, let's see. Look at this. Chop this guy. Just want to get a stack going. Night's still super short. We still have plenty of time before any kind of anything crazy happens here. So, oops. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Oh, rocks. Yeah, I do want to get all the rocks. Get make maximize that stack too. We'll probably build something uh, with gold value. Mm, no, never mind. Oh yeah, we could pre ads right? We'll pre-make. That's that's what I was trying to get on my brain. Uh, we could pre-make something that has gold value in order to get those out of our inventory. Okay, we're getting back down into the. Oh no, this is a slightly different area. Slightly, it's probably still infested with tall birds. It is. I can hear them. Oh damn! I guess we're not gonna pre-make shit because we're gonna have so much gold. Okay. Hello. Doesn't even doesn't even bother trying to trying to call me off. It just she just immediately chases me. Let's see. Let's go clear off this area over here. The sinkhole. Just worried about my wood. <laughs> Nineteen. Good on sticks almost. Not quite. Hello. God, their aggro is so weird. <laughs> that guy goes so silly. Yes, yes, chase me, chase me. Do need sticks anyways. Alright, this area is clear. Pretty clear. Go right over here, chop over whatever trees, big trees we run into. I don't like to waste time with small ones. These big ass Chad trees. Let's do it. Give me your wood. Oh, that's it. Now we pre-make. Boom. Pick it up. Rocks. We're going to pre-make a fire pit too, by the way. All right, so now we're maxed out on wood. We can go ahead and take uh, this, and we'll just go ahead and plant, plant, oh, plant, plant. There we go. Looks like we're one shy of flint. We're going to actually get more flint here soon, so... I'm not gonna worry about busting down a boulder or anything just yet. Oh wow, it's actually that's a pretty sizable little swamp area. Gold and rocks. Two things I could really go for right now. And more sticks, sure. Not those rocks. The rocks with gold in them. Oh, I'm actually on my second batch of uh a uh, second stack of uh, flint, so actually I will stop collecting flint. And I'm going to start beating up this. Good. I will go ahead and pre-make this. Shit. Don't, whatever you do, like, don't start fights. Just, oh my god. That, okay, that aggro range is fucked up. I was gonna say, what I was gonna say was, don't start fights with something. When you are uh, so close to night, I have to come up here just to make sure that corner stays out. Otherwise, I'll forget that it's not a bridge, a land bridge. There we go. That looks pretty. That's pretty convincing, I think. All right. So I don't have enough room for a. Uh, hmm. I'll eat this. Pick this up. We'll make a torch, get it ready. I'm gonna make a science machine, get that ready too. And we used a little bit of flint, didn't we? Oh no, we did not. Whoops. I guess I don't remember what flint's used for. Jeez. Alright, here we go. Is the curtain falls. And. Let's see, where are we at? We've explored a fair chunk and have somehow not found anything of value. It's okay, there's still a whole lot more world left, like a lot more, seriously, it's a lot. Uh, let's see. 
But as you guys saw at the beginning, the reason why I showed you guys the uh, the world creator, I meant to talk about it and totally forgot, uh, was that I wanted you to see that I did not put extra gold or anything anywhere. <laughs> so, so this should be a 100% pure clean run. No, no craziness. All right, let's go ahead and light this guy here. And then we'll light this guy here. And then we're going to go ahead and get the axe out. Get ready. Oh, actually, no, we have to light another one. Forgot. We got, we got to start uh, getting some more charcoal. If we're going to have a stack, we got to have a lot of, a lot of them, I think. Good. Perfect. Sanity's going pretty far down. Oh, if I flint, I need flint. Let me get this ready to go for the next batch. We're going to start now. Here we go. Oh, this is this guy right here. Let's go right straight down here. It will last just long enough for me to get this one and for daylight to come. Perfect timing. Like, oh, actually, oh, it's gonna burn out early. What if I could sack it before? Uh, come on. Got it. Perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, I did time it just right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't trust, I didn't trust my instincts there. <laughs> All right, logs. You could go ahead and actually spend some of this on some more logs. We're just gonna walk around with just so much, so many things prototyped and so much stuff. We haven't set up anything for this first episode and that is a okay with me. We gotta be cautious, man. Don't starve is quite unforgiving. There's so much stuff that's been introduced to the game since the last time I played regularly, and it's funny because I feel like I play regularly now, and there's still things that I see, I'm just like, what the F is that? And we haven't even gotten into... Oops, let me go and uh, pre-make some stuff here. Uh, there's really nothing else I can pre-make. <laughs> so I guess I'm just gonna leave that out there. Uh, but yeah, it, there's, there's still so many things that I see, and I'm just like, I have no idea what that is. Uh, rip me, basically. She needs to get into a fight. She's 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 hankering for a fight. She really truly is. So let's do this. Let's um. Let's just bust down the rest of our. There it is. Perfect. Look at this on. I guess we just go find a tall bird. Let's go to the middle here. It'll be a tall bird. Yeah, there's a tall bird over there to the right. Oh my goodness. Oh, and a gnome thing. Okay, cool. I think we have to just mark this. Actually, we can't necessarily do much else because we don't have the backspace to do much else. All right, let's see. You. Come. Away from the, the one up there. Oh my god, don't tell me that one's coming too. Okay, good. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's always awkward to attack from like underneath. Oh, I messed up. It's fine. 25% damage reduction. And that should be it, right? Oh, there he goes. We got food and we got sanity. A fair amount of sanity too, mind you. I'll leave the egg there. For what? I don't know. <laughs> Just because, I guess. I gotta take it and cook it real quick. I have a pre-made fire. Or we could fight another one. That sounds even better. Alright, bring it. Oh wait, one, two. I forgot I could do two. No, it's just one. No, I could do two. I could do two. Hold on. Well, I could do two. Of course, I could do two when it dies. <laughs> Silly thing. It dies so quickly. Good. Fair amount of meat. We're good on food. Sandy's back up to a reasonable level. I mean, we'll just prototype something. We're good. Um, I'm not going to mess with the egg. Let's see. I will, however, go and explore this. And will I remember that that little patch is there? Oh, you can't even see it on the map, can you? I don't even know where it's at. I will definitely lose track of that. Which means we need to dig it again now because I will definitely lose track of where that's located. And what sucks is that that um, that gnome is also quite valuable. Uh, because of uh, the... Uh... Let me do this, actually. I'm going to do this. Let me... First, let's find this thing again. See? I already lost it. <clears throat> I think it's right down here to the right. Yeah, I recognize this purple thing. Yep, there it is. 
Let's go over here and clear out this area real quick. Nothing of value over here except these rocks. No one but us rocks. There we go. We'll wheel it right on over here. I don't think that's necessarily faster than it's going straight. All right, and here's what I'll do. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up these rocks. <laughs> I just gotta make a stack, okay? Uh, then we're gonna drop this. And what we'll do is, because we're gonna have the room anyway, so uh, I will cook this guy up. Just get them out of my things. And then we'll pre-make another one. Good, just gotta just get rid of that inventory. Cook, cook, cook. And this is actually be enough to probably just eat, fill me up, actually. Probably just straight up, just fill me up 100%. Pretty much. Now we have two slots. And we get this, and we get this, and we leave. Before my sanity goes to shite again. Alright, now... Uh, I guess we're just gonna stay here. <laughs> yeah, actually, here's what I'll do. I We're gonna stop here for today. Nice, mild start to the season. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just kind of chill first episode. We did end up finding one piece to the adventure machine. I don't know if we're going to go on the adventure. Maybe we will if we get all the pieces, right? And we find everything. We've not yet done that in a season, so why not? Uh, and then we had to go and continue exploring. This is not a good spot to set up shop. We're, we're, we're on a fringe, like we're in a corner. We can't do that. We have to get somewhere central. Uh, if the giants come and they start wrecking our shit, then you know what? They wreck our shit. We can't, we can't, we can't necessarily protect ourselves from all this stuff all the time. We're going to have to take a beating every once in a while. It's not going to be a perfect run. So we can't set up shop all the way out here. Uh, but at least I know that there are loads of tall birds out here. Thanks to these egg indicators out here, right? Uh, <laughs> so we can come out here at any point in time and get into some fights. I might actually fight a couple uh, tomorrow uh, before we head back out into the wild so good this is a good first start we could ride that road all the way out go all the way back into the center uh or maybe actually cut across here and kind of just run the perimeter and keep going from there but until then whoo welcome to another season of don't starve the redo epi redo season of don't Starve. if you're interested in watching the other one uh you could just go to patreon my patreon the link is in the subject or in the uh description below you could go there and literally any amount We'll get you in. Well, I think it has to be at least a dollar. Uh, and then you can uh, enjoy the episodes for yourself. Uh, and if you do decide to throw a dollar at me, please consider throwing a dollar every month. I would appreciate that. I really would. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Mike B. This is Wigfred. Don't start adventures. I'll see you.